Hey guys, it's Sondra and Tanya, and we are back to you with another free dance lesson. And this time we will be doing the Texas Tommy variations. And if you would like to take our online classes, you can click on the link below. So we will start by showing you the whole movement, and then we'll break it a piece. So we're starting from the open position, and we'll have five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. From the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the beginning is pretty much the same as a Texas Tommy. We get the follower in the closed position here. Uh, one, one, two, two a three, a four. But then instead of opening up leaders and sending the follower to the open position again on our right side, here we want to stay parallel and then we want to do a back step while we're leading the follower into a front step. So you see here on five, we will go five, and that's where we will do the exchange. And then we'll hold the right hand on the back, and we'll put our left hand on the shoulder of the follower, and then we'll redirect on six back again. Six and seven and eight. Very important leaders, don't give any extra impulses with your right hand. You keep very natural, neutral position, uh, and that makes follower to always uh, try to keep to to find you with her back. If you give extra impulse towards yourself, then you will most probably clash. So try to stay quite close here. One, two, a three, a four, five, six, a seven, eight. And from this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, a seven, eight. Also, uh, we should know the momentum when do we send the hand backwards. So the uh, sending hand happens on the count AND. Yes? And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Yeah, because if you send it on five directly, it might be too late already. So you start the movement before. Now we're going to try to add a little extra turn. After our six, we're going to do an American spin that will create this figure into a 10 count. So the steps will change a little bit and leaders what we will do is a step, step, a triple step, a step, a step, a step, a step, a triple step. In other words, that's a 10 count. So the difference here um, between the eight count and the 10 count is that we're gonna do the same thing. However, instead of releasing the arm and relaxing it completely after the redirection now, we will continue move the arm up, make a compression into the American turn and continue the spin for the followers. So what I'm talking about is one and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight and nine and 10. So you see, I just let the follower keep on spinning I make a compression and that will make the follower turn around and make those two extra steps. Let's maybe see also the move from this side where we can see how the leader is releasing the hand here. First it goes down and then uh, the follower is turning around. So try to make sure that when the follower is spinning you keep the hand relaxed and down and then when she's here in this position then you start raising up the arm and that will make her spin around. If you make it too fast up, that will make the follower bend forward and might be not so comfortable. And also if you stress this movement, you might lead your follower into a triple step and then the steps of the leaders and followers will not uh, cooperate in the end. That's also why it's very crucial to leaders that don't rush or stress, take your time. You have uh, two extra counts now. So we have a lot of time, one, Two, a three, a four, no stress, no stress, a trip, we'll step. So that was it. Thank you very much. We hope you will enjoy your 10 count and 8 count movement with the Texas Tommy. Thank you very much.